Um, in the first three examples here for 2, 5, we're learning about uh, finding your zeros from an equation. Here in the next couple examples, we're going to actually find your polynomial when you're given your zeros. So for example 4, um, it says we have a fourth degree polynomial function with real coefficients as negative 2, negative 2, and 2i as zeros. Well, if you have a degree of 4, you should have four zeros. So in this case, we have to use 2i and negative 2i as zeros because if you have a complex zero, these must occur in pairs. We talked about this before. So if, when you write your equation, you're going to have f of x equals x. Now, if your zero is minus 2, that needs to be written as plus 2. Then you have another negative 2, so we're going to say another x plus 2. And since you have a 2i right here, that's going to be x minus 2i. But we also need to include negative 2i as a 0. So we're going to have another, um, another set of parentheses here. with x plus 2i. You have to have, if you have one complex root, you have to have two. They always come in pairs, so you'd have either two or four. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to be able to simplify when you're multiplying. So here we're going to take the first two polynomials, binomials, and we're going to multiply those together. So we get f of x equals this one's going to be x squared plus 4x plus 2, or sorry, plus 4. And then when we distribute on, or when we foil on our complex zeros, well, this is a difference of squares. So you're going to get an x squared minus square the 2i, that's a 4i squared. Now this 4i squared, remember an i squared becomes a negative 1. So we're going to mark that out. And that negative 1 times the negative 4 becomes a plus 4. So if you have an i squared, cancel it out and change the sign of the number in front. So we really have a trinomial times a binomial. Let's take this x squared times the x squared and x squared times the 4. So we're going to get x squared x to the fourth plus 4x four squared. So we're done with the x squared. Then we're going to take 4x times x squared and 4x times 4. So that gives us a 4x to the third. 4 times 4x four times 4 gives us a 16x. We're done with the 4x. And then we take 4 times x squared gives us 4x squared. 4 times 4 is 16. Now we just need to clean all this up. And we get x to the 4th. We have our x cubed, so we have a 4x to the 3rd. And then we have 2 4x squared, so we get an 8x squared. Plus 16x plus 16. So that is your degree of 4 polynomial. When you start with, even though it only gives you three zeros, you have to make sure you add in the fourth because complex zeros always occur in pairs. And you're done.